Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on the outside bin that's currently on the inside. And uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I was told... Oh, dang it. Mmm. Unacceptable. Well, I mean, it could be worse, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, don't don't want uh, snails or any sort of thing like that. But somebody was saying uh, in the last video that if the if the bug does not ball up that it is a sow bug and if it does it's a pill bug and this one I think might be a sow bug I learned something new you gotta love that so let's see if I find another one that I don't know does roll up and so that one does roll up and there's another dang snail so this one is a pill bug. That's interesting. I did not know that there was two different critters, essentially that looked the same to me in my bin, uh, are actually different. So that's cool. All right. Well, let's take a look at these guys and see what they are doing. If they've uh, managed to get going on their food here and what the population looks like. Uh, I'm kind of not wanting this to be in the bin because that definitely is going to make a whole lot of seeds sprout and I don't need that going on. Definitely not yet. So I think now that I've seen a couple of those uh, snails or slugs, I am going to definitely be out on the watch for them to make sure that there's not any more and if there are they are dispatched so looking in here um, certainly the pill bug slash sow bug population is happy I'm still seeing some of the sod here that's still got its roots so let's see I don't remember where I fed last time and I forgot to look kind of questioning if I want these in here either. Let's see. So, kind of feeling something squishy over on this end over here. So, let's let's see what that is about. Is it just really damp or is it food? I smell onions. So, maybe I don't, know, I don't see onions, but I can smell them. Looks like there's some sort of seeds of some sort down here. I think it's been about three weeks since we've looked in on these guys. I wouldn't have thought there would have been enough worms in here to have eaten everything. So it's damp on this side, but it is not... I'm not seeing any food. Wait, wait there, wait little tiny bit of onion there so smelling more onion maybe we didn't feed on that side maybe we fed in the middle so it looks like it's making progress here and even though it might look really fluffy and dry it's not on my hands it's still a really good moisture So, I know I had that one little tiny bit of onion that I saw. I'm going to keep looking. Because I think I tried to make sure these guys had enough food. Now this is a mix of my red wigglers, European night crawlers, and blue worms. And I think I started with about a pound, half pound or a pound outside and then uh, when I started getting really super cold like you know 10 20 degrees below freezing I just uh, really didn't want to lose the population so I did kind of helicopter helicopter mom the whole situation and uh, brought them in so they're still going through that uh, straw and the blue jeans which must have had some portion of spandex or something 
Now I've seen uh, London Worms did that, and eventually all that's left is like this weird mesh. So looking forward to that day. Let's see in a, another sprouty onion. Luckily I'm not seeing any other weird bugs. I was a little concerned that there would bringing something from the outside to the you know that had been outside for six months and then bringing it inside might uh, have a lot of outside critters that I don't want. But this is a really, you know, this is a 200 year old house and uh, the basement is not good for anything other than worm farming. I wish I would have known sooner because you can't store anything down here or it'll mold because it's kind of damp because of the the brick floor, dirt floor. Okay, let's see. Still not finding any of that food, but I am still going through everything to make sure that I am churning everything up and making sure everything's getting air. Also breaking up any clumps from that sod. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, it is an old house and the basement's not good for anything else. So, you know, there is nothing down here other than the worms and some plants. So, you know, if a few random bugs did start running amok down here, it wouldn't be the worst in the world. Simply because there's nothing else down here. Alright, well, it looks like they certainly did go through their food so they can get a good size feeding. Maybe uh, how much I fed them was not enough for the maybe one pound of worms that's in here. So this is like a 33 gallon container and I think that's 125 liters. They're gonna get some fruit. Maybe this will be enough to keep them busy. More limes. But this has got a, a lid that I do keep on it, and the only holes to the outside world uh, are about a quarter of an inch. So uh, maybe that's why I didn't get any, you know, large amount of bugs to begin with. Maybe that's why. So looks like potato and lemon breakfast of champions for the wormies. Let me get them a little bit of paper bedding. I haven't added any bedding at all, I think, except for some leaves when I first brought them in to try and get it a little bit better in the moisture. So I do have a playlist for the outside bins, and even though this is inside, it's still an outside bin, so it will be part of that playlist. Uh, if you want to watch that, I will link that below. But if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.